Good evening. You're with the Impact Program. I'm Peter Gunter. Today we have the opportunity to meet one of the candidates, one of the persons that is actually participating in the current election. It is Andy Alfian Malarangin, a PhD, Dr. Andy Malarangin, a PhD he received at the University of Northern Illinois, 41 years old, a fresh, I would say, a freshman in politics at the moment. Thank you, you, Andy. Thank you, Peter. Are you a freshman? Well, yes, a freshman. This is the first time I run for, poli for office. Uh, previous to that, I'm just uh, a lecturer in the university, Institute of Government Studies, and also as a political observer. So uh, uh, it's a new thing for me, uh, but I think uh, somebody has to do it. Um, uh, and I, I, I think of myself as a political volunteer to come up to, to politics and do something, make a difference, um, rather than just let politics being uh, controlled by the same all forces that is, you know, that's not going to bring anywhere our country. You said a uh, volunteer in politics, a volunteer in terms of participating in politics to build the country, a volunteer yes. in, in something? I think it's a calling. For me, it's a calling that uh, somehow we cannot expect to have a, a, a good and clean government without uh, a people, good people and clean people to come up into politics and, uh, and, and try to make a difference. I think this is the time for a uh, new generation, uh, new people to come up uh, and then and trying to clean up politics and you know, creating a, a better image in, in politics. That with politics, with power, you know, of course, politics means... Uh, politics means power. Politics means power. But the, the other side of that that's never been uh, widely discussed is what power means. What, what would you do with your power? And in a, in a, actually in, in a country, in a modern democratic country, power means that you are given a responsibility to protect, to serve, and to come up with uh, ideas to bring up the, the wealth, welfare of the, of the people. So power can make a difference to do good things. Is Indonesia a democratic country? Are we learning? Well, uh, is, it a difficult, is it difficult to implement uh, democracy in Indonesia? Does it have to do with education? Are we ready for, open, uh, for an open democratic uh, political environment? Of course, I think we are ready for democracy. Who are not ready? I mean, democracy means that power are in the, at the people's hand. That people, people is the, self, the sovereign. People choose their leaders, and the leaders should serve the people. And if they serve it better, the people can, the, the leader can be given another term f uh, in office. If the people, the, the leader is not serving the people better, then the people has the right to replace the leader. So democracy, I think, uh, is important and it's the key to success for Indonesia. But, of course, we are still in the transition to democracy. We are in the process of transformation. In the very early stages. In the very of, early of, stages. Of, of, of open dem democratic politics. Yes. So all habits from the authoritarian period is still there. Uh, all people from the old forces also still around and still in power so in, in some cases. And new forces coming up. And, uh, but still, of course, we have to struggle to make sure that democracy uh, will, be, will stay, will work, will deliver, will deliver the job, deliver the food, and making, making sure that, uh, you know, good governance, you know, new principle in good government. Good and clean governance. Good and clean governance will be, become, uh, you know, the main principle in governing the country. That is a struggle, of course. There's no free country. There's no free, no free uh, lunch in terms of uh, 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 bringing democracy to work in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's a process, and I'm 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 proud to be part of the process of uh, a reform movement in Indonesia. You and seem to be pretty young, though, for to run as a uh, for, for uh, as uh, you know 
for, for, for the parliament? Or well, for the traditional Indonesian thinking, of course, I'm young. Maybe some people can say it's too young because in Indonesian traditional thinking, politics is, you know, uh, elderly. Uh, you have to be, you know, old enough to be wise. And that's why uh, it's very difficult for young people to come up in politics because you have to be one of those elders, uh, old. And, but A very federalistic approach. Well, federalistic and gerontocracy. But uh, if you go around and see the world, uh, younger people from younger generation come up. Putin was, what, 39 to be president of Russia? Kwasniewski from in Poland, 39. Oh, um, uh, um, President Kennedy, 40s. Uh, President Sukarno was in his 40s. Suharto was in his 40s uh, uh, to lead the country. So I think uh, we should... President pre Clinton was. President Clinton was also 40-something. I think it's time for Indonesia also uh, that the new generation, my generation, younger people to come up in politics and to be ready for leadership of the country. I think we are ready uh, with new ideas. We are ready in terms of preparedness. We are ready in terms of uh, competency. Uh, one thing we are not so ready about is, is funding. <laughs> That's the problem. Tell me a little bit about your educational background. I read somewhere that you were a PhD in political science. Um, Northern Illinois University. Northern Illinois University. Yes. Was that the reason for you to go into politics? And do you believe that you are probably one of those very few that understand what politics is all about? Where is the term politics? Where does the term politics come from? Well, well, uh, politics and politics are two different things. And uh, I was a political scientist. I am still it. also a political scientist. That someone who are uh, you know trying to study politics and trying to uh, you know make. Uh, develop um, discourse about politics and, and trying to see direction in terms of uh, a scientific direction of politics in Indonesia. I uh, went to study in the United States about and study politics as, as, a, as a scientific endeavor. But uh, I was lucky, Northern Illinois has a Center for Southeast Asian Studies, and we have a library specifically for Indonesia that probably, compared to any library in Indonesia, we have more uh, literature, and literature and including with Bahasa Indonesia, mm. including newspaper publication in, in Bahasa Indonesia in our library. So I was able to wrote a dissertation on uh, election in the new order uh, during the, in, in Indonesia. So, uh, was your dissertation positive, negative, uh, biased, uh, neutral? Well, I was studying the cleavages, social cleavages, and become the undercurrent of uh, political structure in Indonesia, political competition in Indonesia during the new order, and see the possibility of those. Uh, competition and cleavages become the some kind of channel of ex political expression if the opening of uh, political democracy in Indonesia was possible and it is possible right now so what we are seeing right now those expression based on political uh, social cleavages in Indonesia um, and you seem so upbeat I'm happy upbeat oh upbeat yes uh, I think we have to be optimistic that uh, to to, to look for the future. Uh, I'm a new generation, I'm still young. I think I'm thinking about the long term. Uh, I'm not happy in, with many things that is still here in Indonesia, with the old forces still in power, with corruption, with unemployment, but I'm a bit in the, in the future. That our gener this new, new generation in politics and new ideas would prevail and good guys can win. Good guys can win. One last question before we have a break. We have around two minutes for the break. Uh, politics. What does politics mean? A lot of people say politics really mean dirty. Yeah, of course. That's Meaning what happened. what you say is not what you mean. 
Are you saying what you mean or are you saying what you don't mean? Are you playing politics right now? I mean, just, yeah. you know, this that, is just... That's, that's, the, know, image, that's the image in Indonesia right now because, uh, you know, people say, politicians say different things during the election and then they do different things when they're in power. Uh, they say Wong Chile, you know, for the small people. And when they're in power, they get, they, 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 they uh, get together more. With